So hello, welcome to my channel, this is Rakan. And today we are going to be talking a little bit about something new I discovered in Geometry Notes that I really want to share with you guys. Um, basically, we will be transferring normals from this object to this these groups of objects, or I guess groups of instances. So in this tutorial, I want to be very, very honest with you. I'm not going to go through the basics of geometry nodes. I'm not going to explain the basics of Blender even. Um, just none of those basic tutorials will be covered here. If you want to learn the basics, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube. But I am making this specifically because I wanted to learn how to transfer normals from one object to another using geometry nodes only. And the only other tutorial that I could see for the subject, which I will link in the description below, was pretty old. Um, it's old that one of the nodes that it uses doesn't exist anymore. So let's hop straight into it. So the first thing I want to go over is what the actual problem is. So as you can see here, right, we have um, two objects. We have this object, which is shaded to show all of its normals. Right, so all I did here was just take the cube, put a subdivision uh, subdivision surface modifier on top of it, subdivide it a couple of times, and then applied it. And then I duplicated it, and then created this object here, which is just a geometry nodes. Um, I took a plane, distributed a bunch of points on the faces of the uh, distributed a bunch of points on the faces, and then rotated it to face the camera. So if you see here, it's all facing the camera. So the problem that we run into is that the sunlight is actually facing directly down into the on the planes, and the planes are casting these weird looking shadows all over each other, and they kind of don't look very good, right? Like it kind of looks choppy and weird, right? So what I want to do is to take the normals from here, which normals, if you don't know, are just a bunch of information that describes how light interacts with a particular mesh. Take normals from this object and put it here to give it a more circular look. So um, the way you do this, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, there are non-geometry nodes based ways, but since geometry nodes is kind of my best friend and it's increasingly becoming popular recently, I wanted to do it using um, the capture at attribute node. So the way you do it, and I'm not going to go like step by step how to create this. I just want to show you how I did it. So um, just to demo this change, I'm going to pop this into here. And there you go. As you can see, it's kind of got that circular, nice gradient look to it. There's nice little shadows everywhere. And you can see how the highlight this uh, particular, uh, this particular kind of leaf cluster is highlighted here, right? So it kind of borrows this normals from this object. So the way you do it, right, after, uh, I'm not gonna go through how to distribute a bunch of points on planes, plenty of other videos that could help you do that. Um, just make sure that when you've done this, you realize the instances. If you don't, this will not work and they will not get affected by the normals. So what you do here is that you take the, you drop in an object info node, this object info node will be the will be coming from this object, so the object that you'll be taking the normals from. You put into a capture attribute node, set to vector point. Then you take the normal from that, and generally you would usually have a transfer attribute node here. The problem is that that doesn't exist anymore in Blender 4.1. So what you can do instead is have a sample index and sample nearest node. So what we do is that we pass the geometry into the, well, pass the geometry from the capture attribute node up into the sample index node, and then also take that same geometry and put it into the sample nearest. The sample nearest returns an index that you can then pass to the sample index. Uh, sorry, sample nearest, sample index, yeah. Pass, sends out an index you can put in the uh, sample index node. And then you can take this normal, Right, so basically this returns the normal of this object. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about this, I might be making a video about object context and why it's super important in Blender. But essentially it gets the normals from this object that you're representing here, 
sends out a value, the normal values, and you can store it in something called a stored name attribute node. So this stores as, as a vector, and the name here is source normals test. So this is a test file. As you can see, I haven't even saved it yet. Um, and then I pass this into a set material, and then you know we get the output. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, if that's all I need to do to get the normals, that's great, right? How do I use it? And yeah, it is all you need to do to get the normals. Now they're going to be stored in this variable here, source normals test. And you can actually use this attribute in a little place I call the shader editor. You can use this in the shaders. So I have this um, that material that I was using called leaf normals. So if you go back here, I was using that leaf normals material here. I can grab it using an attribute node in the shader editor. And this is like super fantastic because then I can pass that in as my normal into a diffuse BSDF. And then I do a bunch of like little fun stuff here to kind of throw that into a color ramp and then um, add some ambient inclusion to it. And then throw into a mixed shader with a texture and a transparent BDF, a BSDF. And that gives you this nice little kind of spherical gradient look. And this is really useful because sometimes you want to take, like the normals, the raw normals that you get from putting a plane in this position are like not great. Okay, like let's be honest, it's not great. It, you don't get very good shadows. So to be able to kind of take the normals from something else and put it into your, um, put it into your scattered instances makes it a lot easier to get kind of realistic, more full lighting on your renders. So yeah, that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, if that was a little fast, please let me know. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. This is just a short, quick video explaining how we can transfer normals from one object to the other. It's really simple, but all the other tutorials, like I said, are kind of old and outdated. So if you enjoyed that, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Sarakin out. Peace.